School closed, inundated highways and air traffic down in Dubai after the country experienced its heaviest rainfall in 75 years. Climate is what we expect, weather is what we get. But is it possible to interfere with these variables? Was it an exceptional event or a human-induced disaster? Allegations regarding what caused this event were quick to point towards artificial rain or cloud seeding others towards the effects of climate change. The official response from the UAE government? Neither. They called it goodwill rain. But can it be really that simple? Let's have a look at the facts. Grounded flights, leaks in homes, knocked out power. The storm brought much of the country to a standstill and caused significant damage. The water level just kept rising. It was coming out of our drainage, basically. Absolutely horrendous. It's the worst I've ever seen it in Dubai. Rainfall is rare in the UAE and elsewhere on the Arabian Peninsula that is typically known for its dry desert climate. So what caused this unusual storm? The first theory, cloud seeding, a technique used in the region to force rainfalls by capturing humidity in clouds. But let's be clear, at this stage there are no evidence that cloud seeding was done before the event. And even if you were to believe it, experts said that you wouldn't be able to get this amount of water in the Middle East. To use this technique, you need a massive source of water. This time, it happened with a large-scale change of wind that brought water from the Arabian and Mediterranean seas. In short, even if cloud seeding was happening, it was impossible to get that much out of the process. As experts said, cloud seeding can't produce more water. It just encourages what's there to actually drop. This leads us towards the second theory. Experts say the huge rainfall was likely due to a normal weather system that was intensified by climate change. Esra Al-Nagbi is a senior forecaster at the UAE government's National Center of Meteorology. It's possible that climate change has an effect, whether direct or indirect. Possible but not preferred scenario for Emirati officials. Climate change was downplayed by the UAE during COP28, which was held in Dubai by its president Sultan Al Jaber when he claimed there was no science indicating a phase out of fossil fuels is needed to restrict global heating to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Overall, the flooding was exacerbated by inadequate drainage and a higher than usual likelihood of these events happening because of climate change, as more urbanization coupled with climate change is leading to more risks of floods. Although the UAE was among the first governments to submit a new national determined contribution last year, it remains to be seen how well the country can couple its economic objectives with the pathway required to limit global warming to below 1.5 degrees Celsius. If they don't, they will increasingly be the victims of their own business model by feeding their aggressor, namely climate change.